Welcome to today's video. As we dive into the second week of February 2024, let's explore some noteworthy must-have new Skyrim mods. From gameplay plugins to visual and outfit enhancements, we've curated a diverse selection for you to enjoy. So without further ado, let's jump right in. First up is Skyrim is Luminous. This mod improves the light in Skyrim's interior cells. It adds about 2,000 bulbs, light fires, candles, and sconces that did not emit light before, enhancing the interior colors. It also integrates the Luminosity Lighting Overhaul mod, which makes the lighting in Skyrim more natural and balanced. This mod respects the original light of Skyrim while complementing the mist parts. Of course, this mod is not compatible with other mods that change the interior colors, such as Lux. It is a standalone mod. Especially when I checked with SSE Edit, the color data was different from Lux, and the fog-related data conflicted with Lux, so please keep that in mind when you use it. Try to improve the light in your Skyrim's interior. Next up is Dynamic Grip MCO. This mod allows you to change the grip of the right-hand weapon. You can use one-handed weapons as two-handed weapons, or vice versa, and it will display the appropriate MCO moveset for each grip. This system gives you a feeling of playing Dark Souls or Elden Ring. To use this mod, you need Open Animation Replacer and Math Plugin, and you have to check and run Dynamic Grip through Nemesis Engine. Moreover, you have to install separate movesets for one-handed, two-handed, and dual weapons in the Dynamic Grip folder, which can be a bit tedious, but once you set it up, it works fine. For the keyboard, you can press G to change the grip, and for the gamepad, you can press activate and shout buttons together. If you prefer the soul-like combat or want to modify the weapon concept so that there is no distinction between one-handed and two-handed, this mod will be very helpful. If you are interested, please give it a try. Next up is Picho ENB. This is a popular ENB preset that many people love. It was updated to version 8.4 for Cathedral Weather on February 4th this year, and to version 8.5 for Nat Weather on February 6th. I'm happy to introduce this to you. I recently rebuilt Arjurim and started using this ENB. I really liked the colors according to my standards, so I decided to use it and share the update news with you. As you can see in the video, I was able to create a pretty good color scheme when using Rashad together. Picho has a very clear and beautiful color and character color among the ENBs. If you like this kind of color scheme, please give it a try. Next up is Spell Hotbar. This mod adds an MMO-style hotbar system to Skyrim. You can assign spells, shouts, powers, and more to hotkeys, and switch between different hotbars depending on your weapon type. The hotkeys will appear when you draw your weapon and disappear when you sheath it. You can configure the hotkeys, the number of slots, and other options through the MCM menu. You can also assign spells or shouts to slots by pressing the hotkey in the magic menu. This mod supports spells added by other mods as well, but you will need to download some optional mods to use them. The icons are also nicely made, giving you a more RPG-like feeling. If you like the spell hotbar shown in the video, you should give it a try. Next up is Pandorable's NPCs, Males 3. This mod improves the appearance of 60 male NPCs in Skyrim Special Edition. It upgrades the looks of various male NPCs, including Rorland and Sven, by making them use the skin and body mods that the user has installed, thus reducing the file size and maintaining the weight of the NPCs for compatibility with other mods. This mod might be helpful for those who have used Pandorable's mods before, or who are looking for a male-only NPC overhaul mod. Since Pandorable has male mods 1 and 2 as well, using them together with this mod might be more beneficial. I hope this helps. Next up is Stagger Effect Fix. This mod is an SKSE plugin that fixes an engine bug where magic effects that cause stagger to the target make the target stagger in the opposite direction of the caster. For example, if you shout unrelenting force behind your character, the character will stagger forward instead of backward. 
This mod also fixes the vanilla issue where mod target stagger does not affect the magnitude of stagger spells. Try this mod to fix the stagger problem. Next up is Face Sculptor Expanded. This mod makes the Face Sculptor NPC in Skyrim more realistic and natural. The face sculptor interacts well, and talks with other NPCs. All the dialogue is made with Temple the original voice to sound Pay natural. The face sculptor does not sit in the same position all day, but eats, rests, or sleeps. The face sculptor acts like a living person. The face sculptor's service also removes your bounty. In addition, uh, yes. the God face sculptor's service face. is divided Let's into two grades. Changing your face costs 500 septum, and changing your face and body costs 1,000 septum. Take this opportunity to make the face sculptor more interesting. Recently, a very innovative landscape mod has been released. It is Tomatoes Complex Landscapes all in one, and I am happy to introduce it to you. This mod improves the landscape textures of the base game of Skyrim, covering various regions such as Reach, Rift, Tundra, Snow, Marsh, Coastal, Forest, and more. This mod supports Parallax feature, which enhances the depth of the landscape and also provides new textures for mountains, dirt cliffs, glaciers, ice flows, and so on. I hope you enjoy this amazing mod and improve your Skyrim experience. Next up is Nord Steelheart Armor. This mod adds a new armor set based on Skyrim's concept art. You can craft it with steel smithing skills, and it has helmet and circlet versions, as well as two types of armor. It has a pretty lore-friendly feel and captures the atmosphere of Skyrim very well. It is a great outfit, and it recently got 3BA body slide support, so I'm happy to introduce it to you. Next up is JK's Fort Dawnguard. This is a building expansion mod from the JK series that remodels and enlarges the Dawnguard Fortress. This mod beautifies both the interior and exterior of the fortress. When you install this mod, new furniture, decorations, lights, plants, banners, and more are added to the fortress. JK has always had a loyal fan base, so this mod is expected to receive positive reviews from the enthusiasts. It is one of the amazing mods out there. In my case, I added Wrighton's Dawnguard retexture to JK's Fort Dawnguard to give the walls a mossy texture. Wrighton also uploaded screenshots of his Dawnguard retexture with JK's Fort Dawnguard on his introduction page, which makes me feel like he made this with JK's mod in mind. It has parallax feature and you can choose from 1K, 2K, or 4K. I installed 2K, so you might want to check it out. Thank you for joining us in today's exploration of the must-have new Skyrim mods for the second week of February 2024. We've uncovered some exciting additions, from gameplay enhancements to stunning visual upgrades and stylish outfits. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more content like this. Until next time, happy modding!